Hello children, Charlie here. I'm going to try a different way of reading the story today so that you can actually see the pictures a little bit better. This week, the book of the week is called Rumble in the Jungle. Now, Rumble in the Jungle was written by Giles Andrea and illustrated by David Vojtovic. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the waterhole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. If you look carefully, you can see animals peeping through. Can you work out which animals they are? Chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee, swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Lion. Roar. The lion's the king of the jungle. Just listen how loudly he roars. Every animal quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round and wander through the jungle just elephing around zebra oh i could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule but instead i've got stripes which my lady friend likes as they make me look handsome and cool. Snake. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who slithers and slides around his tree. And when tasty animals wander too close, he squashes them Slowly for tea. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I don't really care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun to get hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't res resist chomping a few. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong and tough. But his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horse touches the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Gorilla. The gorilla is big, black and hairy, 
And the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his great giant chest. Leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be terribly, incredibly polite. Tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights through the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. And that's the end of the book. There's been a rumble in the jungle, there's been a whisper in the trees, and the animals have woken up and rustled all the leaves. Children, I hope you have a really, really good week. It'd be really, really good to see your pictures and all the work and writing you do to do with Rumble in the Jungle. So I look forward to seeing all of that coming in on Google Classroom. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.